Hey guys, so for part two, we're gonna configure the Intel Edison development kit and we're gonna install Node.js, so let's get to it. Now that we installed Linux on the Intel Edison board, we can start to configure it. In your terminal type forward slash dev forward slash command. To reach the board, call the screen command forward slash div forward slash cu dot usb serial. Note that the numbers at the end depend on your board. We then need to add the speed, 115,200 and press enter to connect to the board. To configure, type the configure Edison command and press enter. Now it's time to name your board. I'm calling mine Edison Bulb. Press enter and validate with yes. Now it's time to create your password. It must be over 5 characters long. We then press Y to configure Wi-Fi. The board will take 10 seconds to scan all Wi-Fi signals available. We choose Wi-Fi number 9, then press yes and type the Wi-Fi's password. So we wait a few seconds for the board to connect to the Wi-Fi. Then the board will give us its IP address. That's what we need to save as we will use it later. Now that you're connected, we'll add the repositories from the official Intel repositories. Copy and paste the repositories and validate. Now we can sync them using the OPKG update command. The board will download all the repositories and synchronize. We also need to download the libraries and programs that we need. Node.js, which is our JavaScript server, and the MRAA library, which is an Intel library allowing you to use the GPIOs. Now type opkg install libmraa0. Don't forget the zero at the end. At the command opkg install node.js. If it's already on the board, the terminal will let you know, otherwise it will download it. Then we update the entire system using the OPKG upgrade. Your board is now all set with the libraries and programs you need to take to the next step of the tutorials.